We are on Nan Harlan for game three of the spectacular cup three of finals between Old Nosy and Brumby. Old Nosy is on the bottom right hand side playing as Harad Wave, while we have a Brumby, the Australian, up on the upper left hand side playing as Love for him. Let's get it. Let's see what kind of match we have here right now. Standard start, standard. I wonder if Lauren's going for the fast Harax and Brumby's going for the fast Rax. Okay, this is gonna catch Nosy off guard or he's expecting a fast Rax, but I wanna know what Nosy's gonna do to push back on that. And he's going for the Mahood gathering. Oh man, okay, are we going to see a horn opener from Harad? Ooh, a fast Rax on Harad with, but we see Harad going for the Mahood opener. Very interesting. Nifferdell Bloom and another Nifferdell Bloom in the back here. Now keep in mind, the Mahood are very, very fast. I imagine Nosy is going to go for the Horn as a tier. Oh, he goes for Dry Spell. Interesting. Okay. Very interesting. I thought he would have gone for Horn here to secure the Harass front on Lothorium. And next thing we see is Brumby going for the pikes here. So he's going to do a little bit of creeping, but Nosy out the gate soon with the Mahood warrior. Look at these bad boys. They're going to run, running for their lives straight down the center. They're going to see the tower wraith here and go for the trades. Okay, he skips over that tower wraith unit. Maybe he's put, waiting to hit this with the second Mahood unit. Okay. Is he going to mug Lothorian using pikes? Oh, he actually rescinded the pike purchase and pushed for Lorian Archer. Okay, good choice on his part. And now the Mahood are going to be used over here. And he actually deletes the Bazaar. Okay, he does not want Lorian to get any PowerPoint reward there. Mahood going right in here on the Nifferdel Bloom. Look at that damage. These bad boys are just swinging for fun. First, Nefer the second Neferdown Bloom plays down here is gone. 350 CP for Harab, 325 for Lorian. 385 in the bank versus 175. Lothorian's tower weight are just getting kicked down over here by the Mahu. Dry spell dropped on the first Neferdown Bloom, and the lantern is also just bought, so he didn't get to use it to counter this. Therefore, setting Lorien back even further, but they have a 700 in the bank. And do we see, what do we see? What else? Okay, anyways, we happen to see a more Mahood coming down the uh, left-hand side of Nan Harlan. If I knows he now has the Hirondor outpost on the field to allow for the protection of Mahood with the tribal pike. Okay, he's trying to protect his uh, trees on the outskirts, I would say. So Brumby being a little bit more Take defensive than normal. Centuries. He's got Lorian Archer unit over here in addition to really secure it. Maybe he's going to get a lantern on this tree, anticipating that and stun the Mahood. Nice, nice. He's, made, he's preparing in case there's any riders of the ninth uh, going on the field. Maybe he's going to push on the garrison. Again, he's going for that. Ooh, he sees the lanterns. He uses the lanterns and the Mahood get out just in time. Poor, not good lantern value there for Brumby, for sure. Now knows he's taking his time to creep the Warglare by his base. I bring from the Oof. Lauren's tier one's going down. Again, this is a very difficult matchup, I would want to say, for Lauren, given the Mahood start with the aggression that they could pull. And he happens to also now mug Brumby's War Glare. That's crazy. Oh, nosy, don't quit. Okay, now we're definitely going to see him lose this Mahood battalion, though, but he's going to end up kiting around. 
and Lorien's base, so we'll see how it all goes. Okay. Nosey's just kind of taking his time. What's happening here? We see another outpost coming into the mix, but do we see Suladad anytime soon with Boharadwes? That's a good question. Is he coming up? And the Mahood warrior battalion dies to the Lorien archers. Ah, yes. Pushing on the Lorien archers with the horn buff. Mahood more coming out the gate. Lauren's got quite a few archers here. If Haradway happened to have like a Haranda Raider battalion, that would be quite massive. But four battalions of archers just pushing the Mahood back. And it looks like these pikes are trying to secure the kill on this bazaar. Is going to get a nice tight clump, maybe? Ooh, yeah. Okay, look at that tight clump. Very nice. Okay, Brumby's in a good position. He's pushed Haradway back. Again, 450 CP versus 500. But we happen to see 2K in the bank here for Haradway. Are we going for Karan? Oh, wait a second. Knows he's going for the Sanctum. Okay, he's going for his Sharn gameplay. He just bought CR Roll. He spent 1,200. We're seeing the Sanctum upgrading to level 2. We are going to see his Sharn gameplay in the tournament here. A very, a very cool. And that's going to be huge against Lothorian because of Poisoned Well. Oh, he's got to get that rest of the gold right there. I hope it's not that bug where it just doesn't pick up. <laughs> oh, dry spell dropped here. Okay, stuns the Mahood warriors. Actually, I'm not sure how much the uh, Sanctum even costs at face value. I should check that when I have the chance. Lorian Pikes going down over here. See our rule, as I said, 1200 was spent. And now we see the Hasharans coming out. Ooh, what's Brumby doing? Brumby looks like he's just chilling. Brumby might be in a tight position if he doesn't get a uh, cavalry on the field to cycle trample the uh, Hasharan blade. 500 for base structure, 500 upgrade level 2. Okay. It's not expensive at all. Ooh, caravan in danger, though. Oh, no. He was trying to put the caravan over here. Ooh. Again. The Hasharan blade. Very, very cool. Okay. So, Lorian Archer, Pike, Archer, Pike. It looks like he's just kind of disregarding the swords at the moment. And Nosey just expanding for CP at this point, it looks like. Ooh, look at those Lorian archers, man. You just gotta love it. Ooh, okay, what is Nosey preparing? He's now getting cultists too? Oh, this is crazy. What hero did Lorian get first? Did they go for they went for Rumo? Okay. Very, very cool. Okay, the Hasharan, Fanda Knives, he's got that from his stance bonus here. Poisoned Well, he's got the Wicked nice. Mirage. Cultists are now coming in for Haradwith. Very nice, a second Hasharan. Knows he really going in on the Sanctum play here. Yeah, Hasharan's really gonna kill Rumil extremely fast. You're not wrong there. My warriors Look at that. Oh, and he's going for Dark Worship now, too. Okay. So what's the ability that they get with Dark Worship? Uh, flames. Da -da -da. Some, okay, is this a knockback one? Or is the other thing a knockback? I actually... No, this is the knockback. So, okay, he hasn't bought that yet, actually. So I don't know what it's going to be. Let's take a look. Brumby gets this bizarre. So this is... Summon the flames of Zagara, which burn everything in their wake. Okay, so he's going to use this definitely on the archer clumping that Brumby is going to be doing, and we see it already. Very cool. Oh, it's a flame tornado? You sure? Okay, seven points in the bank for Harad with 800 CP versus Orient eight points with 625. So Lorian is actually in a route. Ooh, he's going to get the builder. Knows he loses his builder. Dang. Ooh. OK, 
Okay, love to see the Hasharan value that knows he's looking to show everyone in the tournament here. Oh, but he's going to lose his caravan again because it's lo below half health. Dang. Okay, that's tough, man. Ooh, is he going to end up cornering Lorien here? Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, okay, look at that. Sweet value. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Sweet stuff. Very nice. Okay. Now again, Harad trying to run after Rumil over here, but Brumby has units inside of Harad Wait's base going after the economy. Another battalion here. He's definitely wanting to keep archers nearby for any uh, nuisances. Oh, the Hasharan is now level two, almost level three over here. Ooh. Is he gonna fan imagine if he fandonized like right here? Super neat. And Brumby gets the bazaar here. He's going to get this bazaar, I believe. He will get that bazaar. And maybe we're gonna see Brumby use Sylvan allies because he might need the archer support. Like Haradway doesn't have cavalry, so it might be a viable option. They do have a level two outpost though. Sylvan sentries, here at your order. Ooh, more pikes, but now Brumby's picked up gifts of Lorien for the Rumo slow. Okay, but he's going after the first bazaars on the field. The Ooh. Yeah, he's given Rumo the Cuthalian slow. Brumby has not yet had the opportunity to even level Rumo to get Cuthalian. Now let's just take a look. Lauren is a 750 CP, but Nosy now has fourth men of darkness in his pocket. So he's gonna drop this and will be- Oh, wait a second! Brumby got Galadriel? What the heck? Hold up, Brumby! But we have Suladon here too? Oh, dude, these Hasharans are just gonna be massive against Lothlorien. Hold up. I did not expect Brumby to have the money to bank out Galadriel real fast. Holy crap. When did that happen? I was like, go I felt like I was going at a decent pace between the screens too. I did not see 3k once on Lothorian. Oh man. Ooh. Ooh man. He's got Galadriel. He's got Rumo. But there's two Hasharans on the field. Yikes. Okay. Suladan out here. Ooh. Now this Mahood Warrior Battalion has their War Chant ability for a 25% damage bump. Very nice. But again, Galadriel and Rumil. The Rumil Kuthalian not accessible yet. He's one level away. We offer bows from Lorien. Ooh. Okay. Level 3 Garrison? Did he... He must have manually upgraded this. There's no way he got level 3 garrison passively just from, like, the duration of the game so far. Holy crap. Yeah, he definitely manually upgraded that. Okay, Brumby, I see you. Anyway, he's got fortress banners. He's got the hero discount rolling in. Oh, now he's going to get Rumo leveled with the Hirondor Raiders. Look at that. One more kill. He's going to get level 3. One more kill off of a raider. Okay, Sula de Harad, uh, Harad is really just kind of chilling. They're stuck in their base. Not really, but they're also offensively pushing on Lorien's territory. Now, CR rule only level two. Ooh. Fourth Man of Darkness in the back of Lorien's base. Okay. Now, if he were to poison well this structure, that'd be massive. Ooh, but we see Idrio now for Lorien. Again, let's take a look here. 850 CP for Lorien versus 800. And now Galadriel... Okay, Brumby needs to kind of uh, defend a lot better right now because a nose is hitting him from every single Malorn tree possible. Ooh. Nose has got the Hasharans on the field too. I want to see these the hero killing value that we don't know naturally get to see. But the March Warrens being on the field for Lothorian is a whole different thing. Ooh, I wonder if he's ignoring the hero opportunities. He hasn't really used much of their abilities yet in this match. Oh, very, very interesting. But we have a lantern stun accessible for Lorien right now on near this Malone tree. Nice, he gets the stun off. Cool. Okay, Lorien's going to lose this Nifferdel Bloom as well, but knows he still has the cultists over here. Ooh, Hootie Poison. He get Galadriel? Not Galadriel, um, Idriel, okay. I just don't think I really saw the effects. 
but let's see. So that Sharon Blade definitely died. Look at March Warren's over here chilling. Nosy trying to come on the northern side with more Mahood. Suladon still hanging. Hirondo Raider 1 Battalion. Mm -hmm. I would like to see some movement kill from Nosy. I think that's what he needs to do here. I don't think the Hasharans are paying off how he's expecting this matchup. I think it's, he's in a he's tough position. He's everywhere. Ooh. Okay. Okay. I think he was expecting... Oh, he's still controlling that. Very nice. Look at that damage. Very nice. We serve the high priest More cultists coming out for Nosy. Very cool. Again, we see multiple control groups by Brumby across the map. One on the north, one on the south. Galadriel really bullying Haradwaith. But again, we see the Hasharans giving good value to Nosy now with the Fanta Knives ability on the Archer Clumps, eliminating the March Warren with the Lorian Archer. But they have to back out before they end up losing their opportunities. Ooh, but Nosy gets Castlemere here for the late game assist. Maybe he doesn't want to deal with um, Galadriel's Light of Valinor, which is a terror ability. But keep in mind, Galadriel's only level one. She's not doing so well. She's been out for a hot minute, but she has not had the opportunity to get many kills. And Nosy kills Idriel with the Hasharans and Mahood. Okay, so Brumby's down Idriel. He's got low unit pop in comparison to Nosy. Uh, not really. They're kind of even. Okay, never mind. I take that back. So anyways... We have Harad on their way to a tier 3 pickup against Lorian, who's a 7 points behind. But there are only 5 points behind in theory to Harad. Wait. Okay, what are Nosy and Brumby looking to do here? They got Sentinels of Karen Amros, so trying to really kill uh, Suladan if he makes a move towards the archers. But again, Galadriel could clean sweep here. What is Galadriel doing? I'm confused why Brumby has her over here. That's confusing. Okay, I'm going back here. Rumil backing away with a broken battalion of Karen Amroth and a March Wardens. I think that's a misclick. I don't know. I don't know why Galadriel's by herself. But now we see Celeborn on the field here for the Thorin. Okay. I think Brumby might be afraid of, like, Asharan's killing the heroes or him not having the numbers right now. But, I mean, this could be counteracted. Is, Gla is he RPing with Galadriel? Oh, who knows? Anyways, we see uh, Nosy passing a tier 3 pickup opportunity. And in this direction, it's going to be Unrelenting Sun or Condish Chariots, I believe. Unless he diverts the spellbook path and goes for another tier 1 and tier 2 on the other side. Suladan here with the Hironda Raider Bat. Okay, so what's going on here? Are they just waiting to... Ooh. Dude, imagine if they had, like, you can go no further. Good. Oh, he go... Oh, I'm sorry. I'm a tourist. Uh, this leads into Oasis. Oasis or Unrelenting Sun. I'm sorry. I forgot that was on the right-hand side briefly. Ooh, glad you'll get mega value here for Brumby. Look at that. Very tight bump. Ooh, Light of Valinor. Okay, yeah. Ooh. Oasis has been dropped. He's got cleansing waters on these units, I think. He just used it. Okay, Rumil over here. But now we see the Golden King on the field for Nosy. Okay. Not bad at all, but we see Suladan chasing after Galadriel with Casimir. Now this debuff that's happening is Galadriel's 25% damage debuff that he that she deals towards heroes. And a lands retaken, dropped in between the two garrisons. And Brumby calls it GG, well played for game three here. Okay, so Brumby couldn't really work around what Nosy was doing, but that was a very well played move there for the Sanctum value on Nosy's part.